Hello and welcome to another update video about Quant. Q&T only covered it yesterday and highlighted we might actually be on a good way here in the blue wave count. We talked about that I'm leaning towards the blue count as long as we're holding $112. And so far, not much change. Yeah, um, I was already wondering why we don't see any reaction to the downside, even though Bitcoin and Ethereum did that today. Well, we might be seeing it now. We have a possible five wave move to the upside here. It's an ugly one, especially the end here, but a possible ending diagonal um, here in, in a five of one. Um, just to highlight that obviously this third wave yeah, also consists of five waves. So you're looking for, or we are looking here for something like a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four, a wave five to complete that third wave. Um, so it would be useful to see at some point a deeper pullback after we um, rallied from uh, off the Monday lows, just to understand where we are here in the structure. Because if we are in the third wave, we wanna see five waves. And if this was a wave one, we wanna now see a wave two hold a higher low. And if it does that, it could rally in a third wave of a third and so on and just keep going. Yeah? Important here is for this setup to work out in blue, to hold the Monday low, which was here around $116. If it drops below that, last chance for the bulls really to avoid a breakdown is to hold the $112 level. Below that level, probabilities shift significantly towards making another uh, low here below the 10th of March low. I cannot see that at the moment without Bitcoin making a new low below um, last week's lows as well. So if Bitcoin does a deeper pullback, yeah, I think then we are going to see Q&T play out the yellow wave count here. The signal for me here would be, first warning would be a break below the Monday low, $116. And the confirmation for that would be a break below $112. And then we can play out here the yellow count, test the $100 level first, and then sort of $94 and lower. But until we break below $112, I'm gonna favor upside yeah, in the blue wave count. Uh, again, the target for the blue third wave would be $163. That would be the minimum. That's also a structural resistance level. We had resistance here on the 25th of January. So from that point of view, it's all okay. Uh, no change to plan. Make this video really just to update you about the relevant levels and just to highlight that this here could just be uh, a wave two. So if I sketch that out a little bit in, in detail, yeah, so it could be that this here was a wave one, maybe even it's a bit hard, a bit difficult to say because it didn't really make a new high, a triple top basically, yeah. So let's say maybe wave one was here, we're now coming down in two, then it would play out like that. And in this wave two, we possibly already saw an A wave, then here, a, probably here B, we're now coming down in a C wave, maybe an impulse. Yeah, so I'm watching that. Uh, in this wave too, what is the level we need to hold? It is as so often the 78.6 retracement. We want it to hold now $118 basically, 118.74. Now again, few cents that, that don't really matter. It's all about a sustained break. So if it now breaks and sustains below 118.74, then it probably is going to try a new low in this orange box. And then the levels are highlighted to you are important. But as long as it's holding 118.74, it can rally directly in a third wave of a third. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Key support here is the 50% retracement at $120. The 61.8 at 120.70 and the 118.75 level. All right, that's my update about um, Q&T. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.